Hey guys, Michael from Dope Dog here. Today we're going over what to do if your dog is vomiting blood. Again, if you like this and want to know more about education on dogs, we're here helping you at Dope Dog. Like and subscribe, comment below if there's anything you'd like to see. But again, if your dog's vomiting blood, we're gonna get into it and here's what you need to do. What to do if your dog is vomiting blood. If you suddenly walk into a room with bloody vomit on the ground and your dog looks extremely sick, then these are the first few things you should do. One, of course, stay calm. Gather information to tell your vet. You're gonna to wanna to see the color of the blood, take some photos, and then collect a sample for your vet. You wanna provide the vet with as much information as possible to diagnose it rapidly. If vomiting happens multiple times a day or for more than a consecutive day, you should call your vet immediately. Signs of a more serious problem, changes in urination, changes in thirst, loss of appetite, diarrhea, severe lethargy, collapsing, pale or white gums, abdominal pain, or sudden weight loss. At this moment, you wanna take your dog to the vet as soon as possible. What is hedemesis? Hedemesis is the medical term for vomiting blood, and there are a wide variety of causes to the symptom. When you see your dog vomiting blood and bile, this may indicate that the esophagus or the GI system has suffered irritation or trauma. Irritation and inflammation in the colon and intestines can result in explosion of blood through vomit. Another cause might be indigestion of foreign objects, leading to injury of the stomach lining, esophagus, lungs, mouth, or other organs. Overall, the cause of dog's coughing of blood depends on the source of the problem and your dog needs to have a proper physical examination. Chewing on bones. Rawhide is a common type of bone that owners often give their dog for chewing purposes. It's dangerous to give rawhide to your dog because it expands and obstructs your companion's digestive tract. If the bone that your dog is chewing on suddenly shatters, the sharp pieces can damage the lining of your dog's mouth or get into the stomach and cause inflammation. The sharp object can potentially injure the esophagus, intestine, or stomach. This can lead to pernosis. Pernosis can occur when bacteria and other toxin substances seep through the hole of the intestine to cause severe life-threatening symptoms. If you witness your dog vomiting blood after eating a bone, it could be a simple cut in the mouth of a tiny fragment that got stuck in their throat, stomach, or esophagus. If you do see a cut in their throat, it might not be as dangerous as you think. Ingesting a foreign object. Dogs love to eat anything off the ground. They don't care what it is. They'll put it in their mouth and they'll eat it. One of the most common sources of blood and vomit is ingesting something that they shouldn't eat. This is especially true for dogs getting to the trash can. For example, tennis balls, jewelry, socks, or anything else can upset the stomach. If your dog has ingested something poisonous like garlic or toxic chemicals, they may start vomiting like crazy. Antifreeze. It is a known fact that three ounces of antifreeze is enough to kill a medium-sized dog. It is extremely deadly and life-threatening. They are a liquid drainage often found in the bottom of a kitchen cabinet. Stomach ulcer. If the vomit in the blood looks like coffee grounds or is dark and tarry, this may be a sign of a stomach ulcer or a bleeding in the stomach. Stomach ulcers are extremely painful and caused by excessive acid in the GI system, eroding the lining of the stomach. When this happens, the dog will experience severe bloody vomiting or diarrhea. It is challenging to treat stomach ulcers, but with the proper diagnosis from the vet, they can help you effectively medicate your dog. Bacterial infection, poisonings from salmonella, E. coli, can all result in bloody vomit. The bacterial infection can also cause a fever, upset stomach, diarrhea, fatigue, or loss of appetite. This would require expertise from a vet to diagnose and to provide proper treatment. Food allergy. Dogs have a hypersensitive reaction to the types of food they eat. This is why it's important to slowly and gradually switch food brands to look for potential allergies. Sometimes an allergic reaction can be very severe to the point that your dog may vomit. In addition, food allergies can also cause bloody diarrhea and abdominal pain. Foods with byproducts, grains, and lactose are commonly known to cause bloody vomit. If you look at the ingredients and notice a particular sweetener, flavor, it's essential to be very cautious. Other ingredients like dairy, egg, corn, wheat, and fish may be problematic for your dog with sensitive stomach. Unfortunately, it's very hard to determine what your dog is allergic to. Blood clot. If your dog has an underlying blood clotting disorder, it could lead to internal bleeding, which will result in bloody vomit. This occurs commonly in dogs who suffer from cancer or liver failure. Another thing to keep in mind is that if your dog is exposed to toxins or pesticides, 
It could affect the blood clotting abilities, therefore making them prone to bleeding. Parasites. Parasites like hookworms can destroy the linings of the intestines by attaching themselves to the inner walls and absorbing blood and nutrition from your dog. If there is a significant number of parasites in the intestinal system, the dog will start vomiting. Cancer. If your dog was diagnosed with cancer in the stomach, he may experience symptoms of bloody vomit, abdominal pain, fever, weight loss, and fatigue. Stomach inflammation. A variety of factors can cause stomach inflammation. Constant stomach acid or infection can disrupt the lining of the stomach. This can result in severe inflammation, swelling, pain, inflammation, which can lead to bloody vomit. If your dog suffers from the metabolic disorder or immune disease, it might have a high stomach acid environment. Then it could also cause some severe restretching and bloody vomit. The take-home message here, if you're seeing blood in your dog's vomit, it's never a good thing. So please bring them to the vet immediately. You want to make sure that dangerous diseases are eliminated. If the issue is life-threatening, you want to ensure that the canine companion can get as much help as possible to increase the chances of survival. With all that in mind, we hope that all this information we have provided can bring insights into the vitals of vomiting blood and what to do if your pet gets it.